Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is this peachy, pinky, soft glam look. It's super easy to achieve. I used all MAC Cosmetic eyeshadows for it. And that's it. I hope you like it. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And if you like this look, please keep watching. And don't forget to follow me on social media so that you can get a daily dose of Aberdeen. So let's jump right in. Okay, so if you guys are following me on my social media, you will know that I ran out of my brow pencil and all my brow products. So I found this Give Me Brow by Benefit Cosmetics and it's really good. It's like the dark brown. I'll put the shade in the comment section below, but it adds fibers to your brow. So I just decided to do them super bushy and make sure that they were a little bit thicker, add a little bit of color to them, and just kind of smooth out the shape with just the brush. It's super easy to do, I highly recommend it, and I really, really love the bushy eyebrow thing. I don't know if you guys love it too, I know some people really just like a really sleek look, but I just wanted to switch it up a little bit and be a little bit more creative with my brows, so that's why I decided to use this, and of course, I had no more brow products, so I had to be creative. Okay, so I created this palette. MAC is awesome because for this little palette, you can just choose four and just kind of travel with them, and then you can buy the individual ones and put them in that little case. So the first color in the palette is Arena. So it's just a really shimmery kind of pinky eggshell color and I'm putting that all over underneath my brow bone and just want to want to highlight that upper part of the brow and then I'm actually just going to take it all over my lid to set my concealer. Just a quick tutorial, so I obviously already have my foundation and a highlight a little bit of contour, all cream products on my face right now. And I use this kind of just to set the cream that I put on my eye. And the next color I'm gonna use is called Coral. So on my skin, it looks very nice and fresh and bright. And I didn't use a lot, but I did go in with my Morphe. This is just a tapered shader brush. And I'm using this piece of plastic because I really love that sharp edge on the wing of the eye. So I just use a little guideline. I don't like to rub it off with makeup wipes because I find it takes my foundation off. And I just found that this is the easiest and fastest way to achieve that look without actually doing it very precise. So this is kind of like a little cheat thing and I'm going and I'm taking a lot of that coral color and just putting it in the transition zone which is right underneath the brow bone and I'm carrying it right from that wing, so underneath my brow, all the way to, I guess, closest to my nose. So I'm just like a rainbow, just carrying it all the way and making sure it's diffused really nicely into the first color we used, Arena. Then the darker color that I'm going to use is called Brown Script. So it's kind of got this pinky red undertone to it, which is why I really liked it. And I'm going in with my Mikasa E230 brush to just go on the outside. So I'm going a little bit lower than where I put the transition color and I am carrying it just on the edge of my eye and then all the way to the inside upper crease, if that makes sense. I really hope it does. And then I'm taking one of these brushes from my Anastasia kits. I don't know, I really like these shader brushes these days. They're really good to pack on color, which is what we're going to do next with Mythology. So this one is a really shimmery light pink, and I'm just going to pack that color on the inside of my eye. So this look is really easy for beginners if you just want to have the darker color on the outside and some shimmer on the inside without having to do a cut crease and having to do, you know, concealer and then put glitter on. It still achieves a shimmery, soft glam look without, you know, having to work too hard for it. And that's it. So we do the other eye. And once that's done, I'm going to set underneath my eye with Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And I do this after my eyes just in case any fallout happen. And I can also sharpen up the edge of that shadow because I want it really cut nice. And I really want those sharp lines underneath. So I'm using it as a setting powder just for underneath my eyes. And I'm kind of diffusing the product over my cheeks so I'm not really 
baking it. I'm just using it as a sap powder and I really love the way this flashes back in pictures. I've been using different products lately and I find that this one doesn't really compare. And then I'm going back in with Arena and I'm just diffusing the edges a little bit more because I want it blended out really nicely. Using my drugstore mascara from Ramel, this is Scandalize. I'm just putting one base coat of mascara on my top lashes and nobody beats drugstore mascara, you guys know. So I don't think you should be spending tons and tons of money, just know where to get really, really good products. That's kind of what I like to do. So I don't know how you guys put on your mascara, but this is what I do. I just kind of work from the outside all the way in, and I just, I just keep going. I know people put one coat and then they let it dry and they do another coat, but I don't do that because I really like to wear false lashes. So I find that this is the best method. Plus you don't want to get mascara on your actual eyeshadow because that is just the worst. And I'm sure you guys have seen me do it in my tutorials before. It is an easy fix, but I want to avoid it as much as possible. And then we're going to kind of diffuse the underneath of the eyes and kind of smoke them out. So I'm using the darkest color brown script and I'm going from the edges of the eye in towards the nose and I'm putting the lightest color in the middle. Underneath the brown script, I'm going to use the coral color just so that it doesn't look like there's just a harsh brown line underneath my eye. I wanna melt that into and diffuse it and blend it into my under eye makeup. So next I'm going in with my Patrick Star Give Me Life Bronzing Powder. I use this literally every day, fine for my color skin tone. It is amazing to just put a little bit of contouring without being too dark. It's like the perfect kind of brown color. It's not too purple, so the skin doesn't look too ashy and it's just a really great everyday color. Plus it still has a bit of a peach undertone in it, which I really like because this look is super peachy. And then next I'm gonna take Fleur Power by MAC. It's super pink, I know, but don't worry, don't use a lot. And I'm just going in with a MAC blush brush. And I'm just going to put a little bit on the apples of my cheeks. I'm gonna diffuse it up before the highlight zone to melt it all together. Because what you wanna have is like the highest point is the highlight, then the blush, then the contour, but you want it all blended so you don't know where the line stops or starts and I'm just gonna put that on both sides and I'm gonna put some a little bit on my nose because I love how that sun-kissed look looks when you put it in the center of your nose but obviously don't do it too much because you don't want to look like Rudolph. Duh. And then next I'm just gonna put my Quo lashes on. These are from the drugstore again. They're seven dollars. I love them because they wing out and they fan out on the outsides. So again with the the really cut look on the outside because we dragged the eyeshadow out so far I really wanted to accentuate the wings of my lashes if you will. So they're really long on towards the outside of my eyes. Then I'm grabbing back the same mascara, just putting some on the bottom lashes. And now I'm going in with my MAC C4 pressed powder, and I'm going to just go over my highlighted zones. I really wanted this to be really matte look, and I'm experimenting with different powders now on my face, so I wanted to see how this would come out because it lasts so long. And then I'm throwing on some in the middle of my forehead where the highlighted zone would be, as well as the middle of my nose. Next, I'm taking my Fenty Beauty Girl Next Door and Chic Furique highlight because they're pretty in pink and I just mix the two together in no particular order with my Sephora fan brush. It is the 65 Pro Fan Sephora brush and I'm just literally going ham with the highlighter on the tops of my cheeks and I'm making a C motion just to kind of diffuse it up into my temple zone and literally just layers and layers and layers. But go slowly because you don't want it to look streaky. And again, you want the highlight at the top part of your cheek, then you want the blush a little bit underneath and the contour underneath that. 
So hopefully that makes sense. And when you see contour kits, you're like, why is there three colors? And you don't understand this is why, because you want the gradation and you want to achieve a really 3D look in your face and give it some depth and also bring out some parts as well. So I hope that makes sense. And then I always do my Cupid's bow. I think it looks so cute, especially in pictures. And then the tip of my nose, a lot of people don't like that. You can skip that step if you like, you don't have to do it. I know everybody's really into cheek highlighter and you will get to know your face to see in pictures where you really like to accentuate the highlight. And then I'm chucking some of that and packing on some of that Fenty Beauty highlighter in the inner corners of my eye. And I do a little bit more because I like them it to show up really bright in pictures. You don't have to do it as much as I do, but I really like how it looked. Then I'm going back in with my Patrick Star Give Me Life bronzing powder, and I'm just going to contour my nose all the way up to my brows just a little bit because I like how it looks in pictures. Again, you don't have to do this. I just like to kind of make my nose look a little bit more slender on the sides. So that's why I do this. And then I'm gonna go back in with my Chic Freak and I'm going to put a little bit just in between my eyes and I'm not gonna carry it all the way down my nose. I just have the tip of my nose and just this little area in between my eyes where my nose is, the bridge of my nose, and I find that looks really cute. And then for lips, I'm just using my strip down pencil. That's by MAC. I always do this. I always color correct my lips before I choose a lipstick, especially when they're light colors because putting it on a dark, darker color, it, it looks like a different color, and I want it to be the color that I actually chose. I hope that makes sense. So I color correct first and then I used Gossip Girl by Huda Beauty. It's super pretty and super pink. I love Huda Beauty lip colors to tell you how much they last. I could not get the samples off of my hand very easily. So I, lots of soap and water, but the good thing about it is that they will stay on literally all day or if you have a wedding or something like that, you literally don't have to retouch it. You can eat and drink and nothing is gonna move or come off and it doesn't dry out your lips. I do put a lip gloss underneath though, so just a disclaimer if you find it dries out your lips. Um, and that's it guys. This is my little pretty and pink and peachy pink soft glam tutorial. I really hope you guys liked it. Please give a thumbs up if you didn't. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys want to see next. I've got some holiday looks coming for you guys. I'm sorry it took me so long to get this out, but I was having some technical difficulties. A lot of my stuff got erased, but we're all good now and I'm back. And I love you guys. Thanks for staying with me. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Aberdeen Artistry, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.